still believe that this is a high income country issue. Um, this is not, it's a worldwide uh, problem. We need to break through that myth and, and start to look at the global issue and work on global solutions to the problem. Well, I think that's right. And if I've read the, yeah, and by the way, I would really want to encourage people to go to your home page because on your home page, then you can click through the, the, the different sub pages and the, the information and, and data there is absolutely fantastic. But, um, you know, as we look at cancer as a worldwide and global issue, um, I believe that cancer is now the single leading cause of death uh, worldwide. Is, is, that, is that pretty accurate? In other words, as a single entity, there's lots of things that obviously cause death worldwide, but cancer is more prevalent from a mortality perspective, I believe, from your website than HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria combined. You want to elaborate a little bit on that? Well, I think this is, again, one of the common misconceptions, particularly in low- and middle-income countries, that it's infections that are killing uh, people around the globe. And we do know that, that, that cancer is you know, much higher incidence in these countries. It's not the number one killer around uh, uh, globally. Uh, that, that is definitely cardiovascular disease. And cancer, along with its other non-communicable disease partners, in, in as far as we're, uh, advocacy is concerned, diabetes, lung disease, and, and heart disease, um, accounts for 63% of the global burden, uh, um, death burden, every year. Um, but what we're seeing is a poor investment in NCDs. Only 3% of overseas development aid actually gets invested in this area. So we see a massive disparity between the need and the, and the funding that's going on. So particularly low-income countries are struggling to address what is a growing burden. 